These doctors in Galveston are in a live video conference with a colleague in Africa who has gone to examine a man suffering from a rare disease. New illnesses appear all the time around the world and are often found to be variations of illnesses already known. But to be sure, samples of the virus or bacteria thought to be causing the illness are sent back to Galveston. They end up in this 52,000 square meter building, the Galveston National Laboratory, on the campus of the University of Texas Medical Branch. The lab's deputy director, Jim LeDuc, says the staff on hand is ready for whatever comes in. Our faculty are experts in a number of different diseases, plague and anthrax, virus diseases, common ones like influenza, less common ones that uh, uh, we see around the world like dengue and some of the viral hemorrhagic fevers. The Galveston Laboratory has an in-house collection of most pathogens that cause disease, and it works with collaborators around the world to identify and study new diseases. If we don't know what, what the organism is, then we begin with basic characterization. And to do that, we look at molecular tools to, to identify the sequence uh, of the, the virus or the bacteria. If a pathogen has killed someone and cannot be immediately identified, it's taken to the highest level of security, a facility isolated from the rest of the building where workers use air-filled plastic suits they call space suits. One of the lab's most important tasks would be to quickly identify and find treatment for any biological agent that might be used in a terrorist attack. Jim LeDuc says researchers would use the same procedures. We're using exactly the same skills and tests and the same objectives to work on biological uh, terrorism agents as we're using for naturally occurring infectious disease threats. In the end, he says, the job is to improve diagnostics, find the best treatment, and develop measures to prevent further infections. Greg Flakus, VOA News, Galveston, Texas.